Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video guys and in this video we are going to talk about the newest release Llama 3.1 model by Meta AI and we are also going to create a RAG pipeline with it. So without taking any time further, let's get started. So let me give you a little bit of latest news in the field of generative AI guys. Meta has released Llama 3.1 model and guess what they have actually trained that model with 405 billion parameters so yes guys 405 billion parameter and that makes it uh, a model which has trained been with the largest number of parameters yet and not only this right now it actually takes over all the other generative AI models in all the evaluation context in all the evaluation metrics and this is the open source model which beats not only other open source models but all the non open source models as well like Jeep OpenAI or Google Gemini. So uh, this is a big news guys and uh, this actually makes us wonder that maybe in the future uh, even people like us who don't have the resources or who don't want to pay for the models or who want the own models to be hosted on their own machine can use open source models like Llama 3.1 and install it on their machine and get all the benefits. So this is a great news for you guys. I hope you guys are excited for it. Now we are going to actually create a RAG pipeline with Llama 3.1 model not the 405 billion parameter one but it is going to be the similar thing if you want to try it on your own i'm just going to use one of the lower llama 3.1 models to actually do this video so without taking any time further let's get started so first of all guys this is our google collab notebook that we are going to use now if you guys have seen my previous grok video you might already be familiar with this similar notebook if you want more detailed explanation of it please do watch that video i will put that in the description below but for now we will uh, go through each and every line but in a smaller uh, shorter manner okay so first thing first guys, if you want to actually create a RAG pipeline, you need to install certain packages in your collab and the packages that we are basically going to install are Llama index because the API of Llama index is the one we are going to use to actually, uh, you know, query our models and load our data, etc, etc. Then we are going to use Grok to actually load the Llama 3.1 model. Then we use certain embeddings because we want to uh, load our document uh, to query it okay now let's go into the import libraries part so you can see that there are certain libraries we are importing from llama index core uh, vector store index directory reader storage context all these libraries are basically needed to load your document for querying and creating your document into an index so you can query it efficiently then obviously you need hugging face embedding to convert your document into a vector or into an embedding. You need sentence splitter so you can chunk your document into a smaller chunks so that it becomes efficiently to query. Then obviously we need the Grok library to load our Llama 3.1 model. And uh, yeah, that's about it, about importing the libraries. Then uh, important thing is that if you want to use Grok, to create your model inference, you actually need to have a API key. If you want to have the Grok API key, you just go to Google, Grok Cloud. You click on API keys here and either you can create your own API key and once you have it, you can actually just simply copy that. And once you have your Grok API key, uh, you can see that you can put it into your Google Collab secrets and just use uh, user data dot get the name of the secret to get it. Okay. Now that we have our Grok API key, it is time for data ingestion. So I have this one PDF file called basics of finance that is loaded here. Uh, I use simple directory reader to just load this file into my documents object using this function. Once I have my documents object created, I will start chunk chunking the data. Okay. So sentence splitter, as I told you, is used to chunk your huge PDF document or huge document into a uh, smaller chunks so you just use uh, this sentence splitter and get the method get nodes from document and this basically what happens is that it actually chunks your uh, document into uh, smaller sizes 
and give you a list of nodes okay now you can see that uh, you get 86 nodes here and that's your metadata now once you have your documents chunked into smaller nodes it is time to actually create the their embedding or convert them into vector format so for that you need your embedding model so you just create hugging face embedding and the model i'm using here is a mini model uh, just because to keep this example very simple you can obviously use a higher sentence transform uh, transformers model as well now uh, we have our embedding model another important model we need is our llm model guys yes we need our llama 3.1 model you can see that i am only here using the llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model but if you go to the grok cloud and you go to models here under the documentation you can see that it provides you all the models uh, which are for llama 3.1 version you can have llama 3.18 billion you can have llama 3.170 billion you can even have llama 3.1405 billion but the only problem with the 405 billion is that it is only available to the paying customers so if you have a uh, pricing uh, billing setup with grok cloud you can use a 405 billion model otherwise either you can use the 8 billion one or you can use the 70 billion one so just to keep this uh, short and just to get our answers quickly i am using the 8 billion on instant one but all you have to do is just change this name guys so i can i'll definitely share this notebook with you and you can just change this name to the 70 billion on the 405 billion one and you will be good to go now we create our service context so service context is nothing but a set of configuration of the models that we will be using for our uh, use case so we are using two models embedding model the hugging face embedding and then the llm model which is llama 3.1 and once we have our service context created it is time to create a vector store index so what is a vector store index guys it is simply a container which has indexed documents so you create this container from your documents itself and you provide it certain objects that it needs to create the index of your document. Once you have this index created, you use this index only to actually query your questions. So vector show from documents takes your document, it takes your service context and it takes your node. So if you have chunked your data into nodes, you can provide your nodes here show progress true basically shows you the progress just like this but if you keep it false you won't see anything happening basically you will just see the direct object created so once you have this container created it is best to save this container or persist it right so you use persist method to actually uh, put it into a folder so you can see that it created a storage underscore mini folder here why do we need a folder why do we need to persist it because guys all we need to do once you have created your set of documents all you need to do is save them somewhere because if you can use uh, this vector index anywhere you can use this vector in this persisted index you can give it to anyone and to whoever you give it to all need to do is not load all the documents and chunking and sentence splitting they don't need to do anything they can just load this index from the disk and then you can simply start querying it so this becomes really handy guys because you save a lot of time by doing all the steps you just did and you can just use this saved value load it and start querying it so there you go the next step is just simply taking it from the persisted directory so first you get your storage context you use this storage context to load the index you also pass your service context here guys because the service context has your embedding model and your llm model so even though embedding model you have already used you do need your llm model because that's the model you are using to query your documents and then finally once you have your index you can just use a simple method index as query engine and you pass your service context which has again your llm in your embedding model that becomes your query engine and then once you have your query engine you can create your query object here which is a simple string and you do query engine dot query you pass your query inside it now my query was explained market bonds 
Now you can see that it prints the response and this response is coming straight up from this PDF file which has the exact definition of market bonds. Okay, so there you go guys. You can use this Google Collab Notebook to actually create a simple chatbot that takes your data, takes it from your PDF files, use Llama 3.1 model to query it instantly and give you fast answers. And then again, it is all free of cost guys. You can use Grok for inference of that model. And if you want to go a little bit advanced and you have certain money to become a paying customer for Grok Cloud, you can use a 405 billion parameter model, which is the top most generative AI model right now in the world. So that was a short and sweet video guys to introduce you to Llama 3.1 and give you certain features about it. I hope you guys like this video and you did learn something from it. If you like this video guys and you were able to create your own RAG applications with it, please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback for me, please do write down in the comment section below. I will be really happy to address them and read them. Also guys, in the end, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. I'll see you guys in the next video guys. Until then, take care and bye-bye.